everybody, my name is Markiplier and welcome to Antumbra, what is supposedly a very scary and very well made and very difficult horror game that's a point and click style adventure. Now this is made by a new developer who's new to the scene, so we don't know what's going to come out of this game, but apparently people are saying that it's very, very good. And since I'm so good at games, I'm not gonna have any trouble with this at all. Please stop laughing, I haven't gotten to the game yet. Warning, this game has content which many can find offensive and or disturbing. Great! Also, this game is very hard and unforgiving. Excellent! So don't be surprised to have trouble solving the riddles. Okay, so it's not just gonna be me. This is not Flappy Bird or Casual Genocide. In order to finish it, you will need to think outside of the box. I'm great, I got Tiny Box Tim right here. I don't, I don't want to go into the box because that would kill Tiny Box Tim. Don't get used to any rules of the game as they constantly change. Great! Bend and twist. Douchery inbound. Think of it as the dark souls of adventure games. You will fail over and over, get used to it, it's fine. Everything you will experience is exactly as planned. And remember, there is always a solution. Great! You woke up in a dungeon, it smells like death. You hear distant sounds of scratching and it's heading your way. What do you do? Oh, something's heading my way! Run the other direction? Look around. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, hey! Who the hell are you? Oh, okay, I'm dead. My name is William, apparently. All right then, you won't come into dungeon. Ah, right, so this is how this game's gonna be. Wait, you wait a bit. The sound is coming closer. Hmm. <laughs> I, I'll wait longer. Wait again. It's almost here. What was that? Did I hear something? Okay. Shut up! I'm doing something. Oh, it's my mom. Okay. Hi, your name is Ted Joseph. My name is not Joseph. You just said my name was William. What is this game proving here? Okay, fine. I get it. Yeah, R run the other direction. Very smart thing to do. As you run down the corridor, you find yourself in a metal vault. You can hear something running behind you. If you won't ask fast, it'll reach you. Go right! Oh, you haven't locked doors behind you. You're dead, Danny. What does that even mean? How am I supposed to do that? It didn't have an option to do that! Okay, run the other direction. As you run down the corridor, you find a metal vault. What? Oh! Ah! This appears to be a door switch, which you pull quickly. Oh! I passed the test! I'm intelligent and I'm getting the hang of it! Okay. Uh, you hear a strong bump and loud and human screams. I actually don't, but I'm gonna let that go just because I'm assuming that you couldn't record uh, in human screams. You enter a hallway. There are dozens of doors on both sides of the corridor. At the end, you see a wall of water. Huh. Observe. The liquid wall is still far away. The corridor is silent. You hear only your own breathing. Or do I? Is there anything in the environment that I need to click? So this is what you mean! Step forward. You move deeper into the hallway. As you step, all the doors burst into violent knocking and bumping. You feel endangered. Okay, I definitely hear that. Observe. But I thought all the- No, never mind. Step forward. You move deeper in the hallway. Okay. Keep oh, hey! Hi! Hi! How are you? Oh, hey! Okay. <laughs> Alright. And my name's Robert now. Okay, so that didn't go terribly well. Run the other way. Lock the door. Like that. Pull the switch. Here's strong bump. Okay, so go right. But I don't know if there's anything here. I just want to observe it and then go back. Go. Go back. Can't doors. Go forward. Hey! Reality around you bends and twists. You find yourself in the middle of a fort. What the hell is this? Who the hell are you guys? There's a path leading forward, but someone is in your way. He's wearing an odd mask. It's not a mask. Well, which is it? You're not really being very clear. Okay, so I don't have any other option but going forward. Do I click on the masky mask? Hello. Don't go there, please, you can't, you will be hurt. I won't let you go, I love you so much, you are everything do I have. <laughs> punch him, punch him in the gonad! You punch him in the mask face, he takes the punch, his eyes bleed, you feel a sudden rush of satisfaction. You want more? I'm gonna kick him, I'm gonna kick him so good. Oh. You kick him in the stomach and he bends in pain, but quickly recover to his initial stance. Blood is pouring down from underneath the mask, it feels so good. I don't want to slice his throat. I mean, this guy loves me so much. Oh, wow. You slice his throat. He chokes and gags on his blood, yet remains standing in your way. Just die already. Oh, man. I didn't want it to end up like this. His neck snaps like a dry branch. He died. He's still standing, even after death. But he is an obstacle no more. Ecstasy overwhelms your mind and body. Holy crap. Well, I guess I can go forward now. You come to the crossroad, there's something in the dark. You could hear it moving beside the bushes and trees. Okay. As you follow the path, you encounter a child standing in the middle of the road. It's your son. He's crying. His eyelids are sewed with barbed wire. How does that even happen? Rescue him! As you move toward the... What? A runic barrier flashes before you. Barbed wire spewed from your son's eyes quickly. Ah! Oh, what a 
resist the evil within? With all the barbed wire and whatnot? Oh. You cannot force yourself to cross a barrier. You are helpless, worthless. What? A pitiful excuse for a father? Daddy, why won't you help me, Dad? Oh, God! I didn't ask for this! Why is this happening? All right. Bye, then! Uh, oh, hey, well, okay. Oh, uh, hey, I boy. I boy, what are you doing over there? Through the bushes and trees, you come across a small cottage. The presence is walking around the house, ensuring no one will pass. Hello! You seem normal. Take a step forward, and the creature instantly blinks right in front of you, inches away from your face. It doesn't interact, but all its eyes stare at you. It feels uneasy. Hello! Hello! Hello? Oh, hey, oh, hey! You suddenly find yourself in a weird void. I am pride bound for you. Me, kneel and beg, ask for forgiveness. Speak! You disgusting maggot. Describe what a wretched pool of vomit you are. I am I'm stupid. That's probably what I do. I'm stupid. That's just me, though. I'm, I'm really, really dumb. Like, really dumb. <laughs> of course you are. You're a brainless, mindless bag of meat and bones. My mother never loved me. You bet she didn't. You're a disgrace. You ruined your life. No future? Oh, of course you have. And a bright one. You'll live doing pointless things and you'll die, leaving behind nothing but rotting meat and bones. You'll die unmissed, unnoticed. I'm weak and miserable. Huh? What? Can you repeat that? I'm weak and miserable. Did you, what did you say? Say it louder. I can't hear you. I'm weak and miserable! I'm weak and miserable! That's the spirit ready to die? Go to hell. We are in hell, silly willy. Your own personal private hell. Go to hell. Go to hell. Go to hell. Go to hell. Sure. All right. Whatever. Then I grant you death. You are now free from me for a time. Broken and bleeding, crawling at the bottom. Now you have the chance to rise beyond. See you soon. Okay. So I, s I started from the middle and now I'm at the bottom, but then I get to go to the top. Started from the bottom and I get to go to the top. Go to hell. Oh, fine. I'll just die then. What? Pride won't pay your bills, won't feed your kids, won't make you- <laughs> Abandon your pride, okay. On the other direction, lock at the door. Aha, that was it, I thought so. That is creepy though. I just had to go into the house when the guy was moving to the left and right. G Grandma, how are you doing? Oh, I see you still taking those tap dancing lessons. The interior is a mess. There's moss on the walls. Most of the furniture is rotten. Oh, and an old lady walking back and forth. You can smell the metallic scent of blood from her. Great, it's bleedy, Grandma. Okay, so what am I supposed to do about tap dancing bloody grandma? Outside. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Cool. That was, that was great. I'm glad that happened. So what the hell am I supposed to do now? There's got to be something here. There's got to be some here. There's got to be. There's got to be like a secret thingy. A secret little doodad. Oh, 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 there we go. There are pests in my basement, Steary. Bring me their teeth and I will share some secrets with you. I need at least ten. Okay, so, well, I mean, one pest probably has more than one tooth, right? Oh, hell, oh, whoa. Uh. Yeah. All right, I got two maggot teeth. Great. I, I've always wanted these. What, they have just one giant tooth? What happens if I get more? What happens if I just get all the maggot teeth in the world? Haha! -ha! They're getting a little faster now. Oh. Is this supposed to be a challenge now? Alright, I got 21 teeth. How about them, apples? You can pass safely through a silent corridor. Great! The silent corridor! Always what I wanted! Okay, so... Oh, the silent corridor! That's the silent corridor! Ah, I know, I know. The journey is the answer. Oh, so she'll give me clues the more teeth I give her. Okay, so let me just get another set of ten, and then maybe, maybe just maybe, maybe there's gonna be another clue that's gonna be vital to my survival in this scenario. Grandma, Grandma, Grandma! I got a present! Took 40 years for Moses- okay, that doesn't help me at all, Grandma. Thank you very much! Okay, so the silent corridor I should be able to pass through now. Bonnie and the man is still there, but if I go right... And I see a wall of water, and this place is silent. Forward. All the doors. But now, I should be able to go forward. Move deeper. Ah, yes. Oh, but it's not too bad. Oh, no. Why? You said I could pass safely through it. You said I could. This is a bunch of baloney. This is... Okay, I'll be right back. So nombre babunye legio. Me runes gibt no ma nu manji. I don't think that's Spanish. No, I'm not aiming to become the tooth fairy. You shut up and let me alone. We got 30. 
All right, lady. Show me your teeth. 40 years, yeah, yeah. You have cancer, you're going to die. Great, thanks. That's some coordinates. Someone look up those coordinates for latitude and longitude and see what that leads to, because I'm curious. Okay, more date. Fire will not harm the messenger of water. Thanks, Grandma. You need to lose your pride to free yourself from its power. Well, how do I do that, Grandma? My self-esteem is at an all-time low! Ah! Get over here, maggot. Grandma, Grandma, I got more teeth! Somehow. Takes a while to fill an angel lust. Yeah, it does. <laughs> Grandma, what did you- what would you know about an angel's lust, anyway? Did you have some, uh, prior experience with, uh, some lusty angels? I'm gonna lose my mind crushing all these maggots. This is not a game. Well, what is it then? Oh, here I thought I was a gaming YouTuber! I guess I'm just wrong! Oh. Oh, I get it now. Okay, this took me way too long, and I like I had to pull up the walkthrough just to see the clue as to what I was supposed to go here. And the clue was, oh, it was so simple. Grandma was right. Like, damn it, Grandma was right. Damn it, Grandma! I should have written down all her clues. The silent corridor. What I didn't notice is that I, this happened before. I went through this once and one step forward and I died, but I need to. I need to. That's what the patience thing was all about. I need to let them. There we go! Patience, young Padawan! All right. You're underwater. At the bottom of surprise, you discover that you can breathe. Water is strangely thick, like fresh jelly. Oh boy, fresh jelly. It also has a very foul taste. Great! Should I swim up? Should I look for anything down here? What is going on? The beach is covered with dead bodies. Also great! You just- you notice none of them have a face, just numbers burned within their skin. Where the face was supposed to be, your clothes are dripping wet, okay? What about 3301? But I need an active guide to be able to get him. If I'll be- oh, hello! An archangel stands by the water! I've killed them all, so I could go to heaven. I can take you with me if you want. Ah, I don't- I don't know about that! You know, I like it down here in the bizarro world where everything isn't- what it seems to be. In the jungle. Oh, hey! There's a friendly snake. Hello, kind sir. Would you like to pet me? Absolutely not! Oh, what am I supposed to do now? It's gonna game me over! And then I'm gonna die, and then I'm not gonna have anything available to me. Uh, I don't even know if I was supposed to go to Grandma's house. Alright. So... I probably shouldn't... Alright, fine. I'll pet ya. No, maybe I won't pet ya. Ah, oh, that feels great. You know what? You're so kind. Wish our snake god would be like you. Oh! I did it! I got pineapples! Hooray! Pineapples raining from snake heaven! Thank you, snake god! I guess? Suddenly, pineapples. Alright, cool. That- that turned out better than expected. Oh good, a wall of water! A tall wall rises in front of you, it has a gap which you can use to get to the other side, but there's a weird fire burning which blocks you. Walk through the fire? I don't want to walk through the fire! I just got pineapples! You think I want to waste it all on fire? Although roasted pineapples I've heard is very good. Hmm. So somehow I need to walk through the fire in the flames. That's what I'm saying. Vegetation is very dense here. Yes, I know! All these fruits and vegetables raining from the heavens. Hello, kind sir. Nah, I petted you once, I don't want to pet again, I've already got the pineapples. So... Going to water, we can go back, but I don't want to go back just yet. This guy's still here. Should I talk with this guy? I mean, I guess. I'm a lazy but violence and pain motivate me. If you want me to flap my wings and fly, you need to hurt me. Don't worry, I enjoy it. I don't- I don't think I want to do that. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> This is not going anywhere. <laughs> ah, this was a waste of my time, but at least I got an achievement! Hooray! Okay. 
So, numbers are burned into the skin. Is there any way that I could find, like, number 3301? Because that was a number that was mentioned before. So if I could find 3301, it would be advantageous to my survival here. So if I walk through the fire, I'm probably gonna die, is my guess. Take a step into the fire and you start burning. You take off your burning clothes, but the fire is glued to your body. You die a painful- Great! Okay, fuck you! This is some bullshit! Hey, still raining pineapples for some reason. I guess I don't need to pet the snake again. Oh, come on! I wanna... This is bull! So this might be a clue. My clothes are dr dripping wet. Right now. That could be a clue. Maybe I should be able to walk through the fire if my clothes are dripping wet if I'm really fast about it. Go to the jungle. Go deeper into the jungle. Walk through the fire. Yeah! I did it! Oh, my wet clothes somehow extinguished the magical fire that burned me alive. That doesn't make any sense. Arcade fire. Walk in the park. Of course, assuming the floor is lava. I mean, Okay, crossroad to three paths. Well, I'm dead jungle. Show me in here in plain sight. In plain sight, eh? Well, aren't you? Whoa! Hey! Oh! Ha! What? Hi? What? Okay, so I got a dancing Jesus. What does that even mean? Is he giving me the finger? Hey, how dare you, Jesus? That's not very nice. So... I, I, okay, I, I don't- I don't get what you're trying to say, dancing Jesus. If- if you could get buddy Jesus over here and tell me that what I'm supposed to do... I don't- I- Uh... I get- Oh, but- uh, okay! Oh, okay! What is- why- okay, well, you know what? I'm not even gonna question it anymore because, frankly, I don't give a damn. I don't know what the hell just happened, but hey, we're here, still alive, I think I should go to the desert. Wind blows, pushing endless amounts of sand through the world, you're on God's mercy. Okay, so what's in the swamp? Swamp smells fecal and sulfur, and the stench almost makes you vomit, and you have this weird feeling in the back of your head like someone's watching you. Oh, is someone? Is it Pax Satan? Those are bad sounds. A lot of this game wants me to- Hey there, pretty lady! How are you doing? You see a huge snake being a powerful aura of lust and desire surrounds her. Great! Hello, handsome, let's play a game! You'll give me my name, and I'll give you his name. Okay. Goodbye. Well, I mean, are you the snake god that the other snake was talking about, or what? Okay, so desert. Sand, everything's sand. You've been traveling for one year and 263. Oh, what? Sand every the two years and oh man. Oh, I'm a little tired, only three years, okay. Five years. Well, okay, is it just looping through? Ten years, geez. Oh man. This is a long time to be traveling. Whoa! Okay, I just oh Is this place? Who are you? Can I select something, please? You've won. Await our arrival. Oh, now I can select something. Okay. We are three, three. Oh, three, three, oh, and one. The grandma talked to me about this. Grandma was telling me this crazy story about three, three, oh, one by any act of God to change something. Land of rust and moss, his domain hidden under the thin skin of reality. No one comes in, no one gets out. The name is the key, but there's no keyhole. Okay, so, can you tell me the snake god's name? Cause I need that name so I can get his name. 3301. I hope this system doesn't end in a game over, cause that would really suck. Okay. You find yourself on the outskirts of a huge city. Ancient skyscraper are towering above horizon. Go to city. Something awful happened here. You can smell rotting meat, but no bodies are to be found. The city is silent. You can feel strong tension in the air. Something is bound to happen. Well, I've been waiting 40 years. You think someone would be patient enough to wait for me? Okay. Go sewers of the hospital. I don't know. What is this? Left for dead? 
Hospital is ruining spots of movement in the one of the windows of the upper floor found nearby is some black ooze at the bottom. This place gives you the creep. Oh, probably shouldn't inspect the ooze, but whatever. Flute is pitch black. My car, their hair is floating in the surface. Oh, is this gonna be like grudge? Great. Good thing I'm in the hospital again because I low oh, look at the worms. Why am I why do I want to look at the worms? There are, those are not worms. They're cut off fingers. There are dozen of them. Oh, wiggling and moving. Great! Oh, lovely. What good decoration for this lovely place. Enter a small room with three doors labeled 79 and 3. You can sense someone is standing on the other side of each door waiting. A strong sensation of danger fills this place. Look around. Inspect the room. Notice that the writing is, this isn't a game. This is real. Hey, that's what grandma says. This isn't a game. Okay. Okay, 79 and 3. What am I supposed to get out of this? I mean, that's the only door that's not the same as the other ones. I'm betting if I pick the wrong one, they're gonna kill me. So I'm gonna assume I don't have enough information. Information. Whoa, why is there a mouth at the end of that? That's so gross! I don't want to jump into the mouth! Why would I jump into the mouth?! Alright, let's jump into the mouth. Underwater. Oh, great. How did that happen? How in the world did that happen? Okay, so 17... Oh! Oh! Hey, Heber, 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 Heber! Heber, Heber, Heber. Okay, so... Oh! Oh, I see it. Okay, there's a little shadow. Ah. So. Oh, there he is. Oh, man, that was really, really cleverly hidden. I, I had no idea. Oh, hey, he, he, he. Okay. So there's more. How many more? Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Heber, 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 heber. Is that good? Okay. So did I do it? Heber, he. Oh, that's the name! That's the name, Heber! Your name is Heber! Oh! Cool, good, Heber laughed, but I lied. I've forgotten his name, we all did, because he did. Maybe Cicada will know. Tell them I've sent you, you can find them in heaven. Great! I'll just go back to heaven real quick! Great for me! I'll pass it, there we go. Okay. Great. Heber sent me! Heber is a liar, she forces others to keep her promises. Escalion is the name, but the name lost his owner. Find him, make him remember. Door number six, cross no other. But it was 79 and... There we go! Oh, I had an idea and it worked so well! Okay. Hey, who are you? You enter a void of white flames and light. There's a giant being standing before you. Fire shrouds him entirely, yet he suffers no harm. He gazes at something above his arms open. Are you God? Being speak with passion. His voice is gentle and warm. Bartley, I am everything what's good in him, and I am dying. Say my name. Your name is... No. God's eyes open wider. A shy spark of hope glitters inside. It feels like time is stoked, and every particle of existence holds its breath, waiting. Okay. Well, I guess I'm waiting too, so... Everybody just wait patiently. Okay, I had to look this up. I had an idea of what I was supposed to do because it's waiting. I didn't actually say the name yet, but I forgot what the name is. The name is apparently Escalion. Escalion, you are waiting. Oh, do I need to press in? Yay! Oh, I'm filled with such love. This, this is, this is. What is this? What is this? Tell me what this is. Thank you, thank you so very much, Biakuaz. This is not a game. Eyeballs. Yay! I did it! Holy crap! That was quite an adventure. Okay. Absurdly complex, because I f uh, the end, I forgot the name. I should have written things down. Like, I forgot that some things in this game, like, you need to write things down. But there was a lot of this game that was like a red herring. I wasn't even supposed to go. Like, Grandma's house, it was only if I needed the clues. And in all honesty, I didn't really need all that many clues except be patient and the silent hallway. Like, that in itself was just a clue. I thought it was an unlocking because I got that first. But, oh, that was really cool. That was, like, really, really cool for a point and click flash game. I think that was really, really interesting because obviously I had a tough time with it. Took me a long time to beat, like 45 minutes to beat what should have been like a 15 minute game. And there was a lot of backtracking back and forth, but it was fun to explore. It was fun to 
see all the pieces in the environment because there were some there were some things that were not good and, and there were some things that were very good uh, and not not good in as in it was a bad game but there were some things that were bullshit in terms of oh god you killed me with that that's such bullshit but that was this part of the game and, and it was actually interesting it kept me engaged like it kept me engaged through the whole thing but if I didn't have the walkthrough obviously I don't think I would have been able to solve the hallway puzzle or that last one without writing down the name I would have had to go back or whatever but either way this is a great game. This is this guy's first game that he made. I think it's phenomenal. I would love for a sequel to this game because this was just bizarre, interesting, and fantastic. So either way, thank you so much to the developer for making this game. If you want to play this game for yourself or check out the developer or give him some good words of encouragement, uh, check the link in the description below and check out the description for any other cool, crazy games like point click stuff that i played in the past. i played a lot. So thank you everybody so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye! Oh, this does not look good. I'll kill you first! Ah, ah, ah! You're making weird noises. Oh my god! It's dead!